What's poppin' sexies? It's your boy here, back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes, fresh off of a live stream where we were leading up to this trailer. So let's go ahead and check it out. We know pretty much most of what we need to know about this thief banner, <laughs> but here to steal treasure and take your breath away. Uh, I'll tell you right now, that Kath artwork took my breath away. Man, who is the artist for this Kath? Let me see. I, I want to give them a shout out here. All right. Pukyunosuke. Okay. Shout outs to Pukyunosuke for this very, very attractive looking Kath artwork. Kath is one of my most hated characters, by the way, from Fire Emblem 6. So the fact that this guy managed to actually make me like her is something incredible there. She is going to be a blue tome cavalry type. This actually might be my favorite artwork on the whole banner. Even more than the duo hero. So let's see. Cat. Oh, by the way, she is wearing a cat suit, right? So she's literally a cat burglar. <laughs> she's a cat burglar, guys. Get it? Cat burglar thief? Cat tail? Anybody? <laughs> okay. So lofty leaflet, 14 might, and 2 range. Enables Kanto unit 3x3. Three three. What in the world is unit 3x3? Three Okay, grants speed up 3 at the start of combat if foe's HP is over 50%. Grants attack and speed up 6 to unit during combat. Deals damage equal to 15% of unit's speed. And also, if foe has bonuses, grants bonus to unit's attack, speed, defense, and res. And inflicts penalty on all of foe's stats during combat. Equal to the current bonus on each of foe's stats. Calculates each stat bonus and penalty independently. Oh, dude, is that, is that not Binding Necklace? If foe has bonuses, grants a bonus to all of your stats and a penalty to the foe's stats based on the current bonus on the foe. Yeah, that's, that's literally Binding Necklace. <laughs> so you just steal their stat bonuses and then inflict debuffs on them based on those bonuses. That's so raw. <laughs> wow, they made her really good. And then Kanto 3x3. After an attack, assist, or structure destruction, unit can move to a space within three rows and three columns centered on unit. What? Okay, I'm assuming three by three means in a grid and not like all the way to the top of the screen because that would just be stupid. If, if when they say three rows and three columns, they mean the same radius as... Assault Troop, where you can reach all the way to the top of the screen. That, that would just be stupid. So, I, I'm assuming this is just like a box around Kath herself. Let, let's take let's actually watch it and see what happens. And then, otherwise, she has Drawback, Attack and Speed Push 4, Attack and Rest Snag 3, and then Blue Feud. So, nothing too new in terms of passives. She has a new Snag skill, but no one really runs those. That was a very nice attack animation, by the way. Okay, yeah, so it is like I thought she moves in a box around herself, pretty much. That's pretty cool, actually. I do like the ability of that there. So they're giving us different ways to use Kanto. Alright, then we have Layla over here as a Red Tome Flyer. So we don't know what her passives are going to be. Alright, her weapon, Soothing Scent, 14 Might and 2 Range, Grants... Kanto ally too, <laughs> so we're just getting a whole bunch of brand new Kanto skills here. Accelerate special trigger at the start of combat. If unit's HP is over 25%, grants attack and speed up six to unit during combat. And also, if unit speed is better than the foe's speed, foe cannot counterattack. If unit's HP is over 25% at the start of combat, and unit attacks after combat deals 10 damage to the target and foes in two spaces of target. And then Kanto Ally 2, after attacking, assisting, or attacking a structure, unit can move to a space adjacent to any ally in two spaces. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. So it's like a jump effect. That's almost like having Kanto 3 then, because you can move possibly three spaces with that. That's pretty good. These new Kanto skills, man, they, they're really... Really getting somewhere with those new skills, huh? So her weapon again, just to recap, minus one special trigger, tag and speed up six, fire sweep, and then also 
10 chip damage. That, that's a really nice combo there, getting the 10 chip damage along with Fire Sweep. So even if they have a far save unit to tank her, she's going to get Fire Sweep, so they can't really counterattack unless it's Fiorm. And if it is Fiorm, she has color advantage. And then after combat, they're taking 10 damage and chip as well. So you'd probably want to run like Poison Strike on her in the B and in the Seal slot just to double up on the or triple up on the 10 damage. All right, then we have Defense and Res Smoke 3. Brand new passive here. After combat, inflicts Defense and Res minus 7 on target and foes in two spaces of target. And grants attack up 6 to unit and allies in two spaces of unit for one turn. And grants Pathfinder to unit for one... What? Dude, freaking Pathfinder? That's not what I was expecting this to do. I was thinking they were going to give it like Dominance or Treachery or something like that. But no, they... They gave it Pathfinder? What? Okay. Then we got Swift Sparrow 3 and Moonbow. My god, dude. Those double... <laughs> the double smoke skills are just so good. Alright, there's her attack animation. She <laughs> basically dunks on him with a bottle of perfume there. Here are her stats, by the way. I, I don't think we saw her stats in the trailers or in the Fate Channel. So we got 40 HP. 53 or 52 attack, I think. She gained plus 6 there. Then we got 43 speed, 20 defense, 25 res. Doesn't really matter. All, all that matters to her is that she's getting Pathfinder and she gets a jump effect on herself. Alright, so next up we have Soth over here. <laughs> Another one of these characters that I don't really like too much. I love Radiant Dawn, but I just don't like Soth. All right, so he has Florid Knife Plus, enables Kanto 1. Oh, that's that's actually better than I thought. I thought they were going to give it Kanto Rem, but they just gave it Kanto 1. That's that's not too shabby. At the start of combat, if foe's HP is over 75%, gets attacking speed up 5 to unit during combat, dagger 7, and then Kanto 1. Yeah, pretty good fodder weapon, honestly. As far as Merge Project goes, there's no way this guy is going to be as good as the Summer Claude that we got. <laughs> but he makes up for it by just being this awesome fodder pull. Because he has Harsh Command Plus, he's got Swift Sparrow 2, and then Attack and Defense Rain 3. All these are very good skills to inherit. Even the weapons, so... Not too bad for a 4-star demote there. <laughs> okay, and finally, we have... Nina over here. I, I love the way she's smiling there. This is like, th this is the look of a girl that enjoys her yaoi. And then we have Kagero there. Just, I, I don't know why Kagero is there, but probably to sell more of this unit. So they are a dagger cavalry type. <laughs> why are they hiding her book, by the way? They made it very apparent that she was reading yaoi. In the Fade Channel, so I guess maybe they censored it for YouTube. Okay, Shadowy Quill, 14 Might and 2 Range, enables Canto Recall. Grants attack up 3. If unit initiates combat or is in two spaces of an ally, calculates damage using the lower of foe's defensive res. Grants attack and speed up 6 to unit during combat and deals damage equal to the total of the greater between unit's current bonus or foe's current penalty. To all stats. Interesting. Calculates each value independently, excluding AoE specials. Then we have Dagger 7, and then Cancel Recall after attacking, assisting, or attacking a structure. Unit can return to the space they moved from. This is all very interesting. All these different new Canto effects. How is this going to interact with Canto Control? Because <laughs> Canto Control says... You can only move one space if you're a melee unit, or you can't Kanto at all if you're a ranged unit. So, if you have Kanto control, are they not going to be able to use this? Because if that's the case, then this is kind of a rip. But I, I do like all of these different Kanto skills we're getting. Kanto recall is almost like having Kanto 3 here. Possibly even Kanto 4 if you're getting plus one movement on them from Legendary Sigurd or something. So, this is a really powerful one for a range unit to have. They have adaptive damage, attack up 3, attack and speed up 6. And then deals 
raw damage basically equal to total of the greater between units current bonuses or foes penalties to all stats so assuming you're at plus six to all stats you're gaining true damage based on all your bonuses <laughs> so if they're at plus six that's plus 24 true damage with attack and speed up six with adaptive damage this is so silly <laughs> like this weapon man what is this weapon Goodness gracious. Lethality, attack and speed catch 4, chill defense and res 3. Okay, the first gold border B skill. This is causing a giant uproar in the community. At the start of the turn, inflicts defense and res minus 6 on foe on the enemy team with the highest defense and res total and foes within two spaces of that foe through the next actions. Okay, they didn't give it any bonus effects like Pathfinder or Dominance or whatever, but they did give it a extra unique thing here where now you can debuff more than one target so that at least is pretty good and then we have colorless feud also just i don't know i guess to shut down summer niffle and flame very interesting <laughs> i was totally going into this banner saying this was going to be a skip because we have choose your legends 4 coming up in basically under a week Okay, so here we... There, that was their original space. They can just warp right back to it. Yeah, Canto Recall looks pretty good. Especially for a range unit. Oh, and they... They have a duo skill. I completely forgot they have a duo skill. Unit can move one extra space. That's dumb. For a Cav, that is dumb. If any foes are in cardinal directions of unit or penalty is active on any foes... Flicks all stats minus seven and panic on those fo dude. What the hell is this weapon? <laughs> Once used, duo skill cannot be activated again right away. At the start of every third turn, if duo skill has already been used, unit can use it again. So it's reusable. <laughs> You're doing all stats minus seven and panic, and then one extra move on a cav that has Canto recall. Wow, I, I'm stunned, honestly. I was not expecting this banner to be this good, but... It's just more bait. Like, what do you want me to say? There's Choose Your Legends coming up on the horizon. It's obviously going to be a better idea to summon on that. But if you care about Arena, then you got to whale bait to get that dual 4. Or chill 4 for the B skill. That's going to allow your... Duo Chrom to score in the next bin now. Duo Chrom is now the highest scoring unit in the game, by the way. If you give him the B skill. Alright, then we have Rickard on the map right there. He's going to be our Tempest Trial prize unit. Soth is going to be the 4-star demote, of course. And I think that's just about everything they have to say here. <laughs> but this is a very impressive banner, man. Layla looks like a pretty good far save breaker. Because she has all those instances of Poison Strike if you were to run it on the B skill and the C skill. Or B skill and the Seal skill. And then you can also have her Fire Sweep effect. So you can just attack range units for, or far save units for free. So I think she's pretty good. <laughs> this Nina is bananas. I, I don't even know what to say about her. Cat looks pretty interesting as well. But I would say... What did she have again? Binding Necklace? Okay, Binding Necklace is pretty raw. Yeah, dude, this banner is just good. There's nothing else for me to say. It's just good. It's really good. <laughs> if you want to summon, by all means. There's no shame in summoning on this banner, I would say. <laughs> but I, I would, once again, caution advice to everyone out there. Probably save for Choose Your Legends 6. Was I calling it Choose Your Legends 4? I, uh, Choose Your Legends 6. Just... Save your orbs for that, even though this is very tempting. So that's all for today. This is going to be your boy Tacho signing out. I'm very curious to see how these new Kanto skills interact with Kanto control. I'm assuming they're just not going to work because they're all range units. But imagine Kanto recall on a melee unit, right? Because melee units, after they get hit by Kanto control, are still allowed to Kanto one space. So, if you had Kanto Recall on a melee unit, would you be able to Kanto all the way back to your original spot as counted as one space? Or is it just not going to work? <laughs> I think that's something I would like to know. 
But that's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. This is your boy Tacho signing out. So take care, and I'll catch y'all again in the next one.